Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of On the Shelf. This is the series where I go through all of the trade paperbacks I have in my collection. As of right now, they change constantly because I keep adding more. Um, but we are on episode 6. We are still in our Batman section, which is just never-ending. Um, and the next one is another um, pretty significant book, a very significant book, that a lot of people have heard of. So yet again, we're going to have some issues talking about it because it's going to be a lot of stuff you've already heard. Um, that is Batman Arkham Asylum, A Serious House on a Serious Earth. Now this book uh, is like the best-selling graphic novel of all time. It just was, it went gangbusters when it, when it came out and everyone went crazy for it. Um, and unfortunately I never read it up until uh, this past year. Um, it's one of those that I've, I've read a lot of excerpts from but I have never actually owned the book and I finally decided to pick it up. This version is um, another anniversary edition. I think, I don't know how many years it is but um, it's been around for a very long time. Uh, this is by Grant Morrison and drawn by Dave McKean. Dave McKean is not known for his a lot of his um, comic book stuff. I mean, he is now, but before this, he wasn't. But he agreed to do it because he knew how wacky Grant Morrison is, and he knew like he he would be. He was really excited for it. Really, his art is very different from the art that you see in a lot of other things. Um, it's it's very dreamlike. It's very sketchy, which fits this story because. This is a story of, well, Grant Morrison essentially has said that this is all kind of in Batman's head as a dream. It's something that he um, kind of, when he goes to sleep, this is what he dreams. But um, Arkham Asylum, the video game, a lot of those Arkham City, they were very inspired by this. It's a very gothic take on the book, and it was uh, around the time of The Dark Knight Returns, so this is kind of what has inspired a lot of people to... Um, you know, to, to know the Batman that we know now. The, the dark, going from the campy Adam West stuff to the Batman that is a little bit more dark and brooding, gothic, is all kind of from these kind of books. Um, basically, um, Arkham Asylum has had a, a escape e situation, and Batman has to go in and deal with the madness behind Arkham Asylum. Uh, for instance, he runs into Two-Face, who instead of now uses a two-sided coin to make his decisions, it's now broken up uh, many different times from tarot cards, and he has to decide based off of those. The um, doctors think that it's uh, really healing him, but it's kind of not, because it's it's really not getting to the root of the problem, because now Two-Face has uh, problems even when it comes down to just going to the bathroom. He'll soil himself. So um, it's very interesting, very flamboyant Joker. He was originally supposed to be uh, gay. I mean, he was... I mean, that was the, the main idea originally. It's very... Um, it's pushed in this uh, quite a bit, but they, they did cut down on some of those ideas out over time. Um, talking about this version, this is, uh, like I said, the newest version. It comes with uh, some cool extra stuff with it, because the book is, is relatively short. Um, you get, um, you know, a couple different um, afterwards by a few people. Um, let me see here. I'm trying to remember what all it comes with. So you get a couple quotes and some kind of interesting things. Um, you get um, some kind of, like bios on the characters a little bit. Um, you get a bio on the uh, on Grant Morrison and Dave McKean, kind of what their previous work has been. Um, you get like a thank you from them. Uh, committed to Asylum, a note on the restoration of the book. This book was restored um, by Dave McKean himself. He did take some of the th um, other versions over time have kind of degraded the quality of his of his work because he did a lot of collage art, which is stuff that he kind of put together, took a picture of, and then added art around it, things like that. And over time, it's changed the color and the kind of the saturation and a lot of things like that. So he discusses with this version how it was updated, um, which is interesting. Unique Ground and Afterward by Karen Berger. Um, so this kind of just is another, you know, just kind of to give you that idea. And then the big thing that takes up a lot of this book is it's the full... Um, script by Grant Morrison of the story and you get and it's really interesting if, if you want to know how you know comic book writing starts or how people do it everyone does it differently but Grant Morrison's is pretty interesting especially since you get kind of these red notes below kind of explaining the thought processes behind the book and kind of what they were looking for it's fun to have this stuff this is the kind of stuff that you want to see in a, a, a graphic novel version or a paperback collection or, or whatever it would be um, you get some more like handwritten scripting stuff you get some uh, storyboard sketches, which is always fun because Grant Morrison also likes to do art, so he kind of sketched out his own stuff and then had Dave McKean kind of look into it from there. Um, so this is a fun version of this book to have. Um, I picked it up because I needed it for my collection, but also I thought it was a good time since they did have a new re-release of it. Um, 
like I said, there's not a whole lot to talk about with this one. This one isn't like a, a rare find. It isn't something, for one, it's a trade. Nothing's really a rare find with a trade unless it's out of print. But um, it's not something that, it's not like this um, this uh, gem that no one's heard of. It, it, it's a big book. And we're getting to a point here with my, my collection where we're going to run into some more of those. But we're going to run into some different ones as well, hopefully here soon. So... Um, yeah, Arkham Asylum Serious House and a Serious Earth. If you haven't read it, I do highly recommend it. I read it over Halloween this year, and it was a very, like, moody read, It's which is fun. It, you can pretty much read it in one sitting, um, and uh, it's, it's a classic. So that's going to do it for this episode of On the Shelf. I will see you guys in the next episode.